Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? Hello lad, I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> it's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide.
evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go!
All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. All right, children, let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. All wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the Guild Seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the Guild Woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learnt in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. Put some anger into it! Ah! A go Very good! Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me! That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. 
But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the Guildmaster. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Over here. How's our world? I wonder where he's going. A hero, I see. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Ah, oh, now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the Guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Hello. I remember you. We thought you died in that awful bandit raid all those years ago. So where have you been all this time? You do remember me, don't you? I was looking for Rosie, my teddy bear, just before the raid. After that day, my parents moved to Bowerstone, but I never really liked it there. Uh, are you alright? I think I lost you there for a second. Anyway, I have to go now. But it was great to see you again. Bye!
Ah, there you are. I thought maybe you were getting too famous to be seen round here. I'm afraid I've heard nothing more of your sister. And there's little else I can do. There is hope yet, though. A blind seeress lives among Twinblade's bandit clan. She may be able to tell you about your sister. The seeress stands next to the bandit king himself. And it's no coincidence the bandits have been doing so well lately. Have you heard of Twinblade? He was a hero once. Yes, giant of a man. He had little patience for the guild, though. He left and brought together a dozen bandit factions. I always suspected he was behind the attack on your home. This could be your chance for revenge. The camp can't be far from here. The village is often under attack. I've left a quest card at the guild with the details. Check the guild for more quests. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. Here, you heard what happened to Stern? No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. <sighs> It was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah, you can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old Twinblade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. Hey, who's that? Bandit gear. This here is Twin Blades Camp. Once you're in, you're in for good. So feel free to get changed when you're inside. Another one coming in, Joe. Open the gates. I've been waiting for you. Stand back, lads! Twinblade wants a word with this little hero! See what you're made of. your own sister. Her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. 
She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare, and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. for this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things, so much killing, so much dying. I've seen you, little brother, in a ring of sand and blood, an arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping, and when the daylight fades. What are you waiting for? Finish it, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore. So, you really found your sister? <laughs> I'd never have imagined her living among bandits. You've really come a long way these last few years, haven't you? People are starting to ask when they'll see you in the arena, out in Witchwood. But before you go wandering again, I've left a quest card of my own. A favor, if you will. An old friend of mine has gone missing. Calls himself the Archaeologist. He may have stumbled onto something big. Perhaps big enough to put his life in danger. There's a rumor that he may be hiding somewhere in Witchwood. That is, if he isn't dead already. You can use a Cullis Gate to get there. I only hope it isn't too late. I only open to those who know my name. If you know it, find and hit the magic stones to spell it out. Only one person knows my name. But I doubt you'll find him, even at the Temple of Avo. Hello there. Are you interested in hearing the name of the demon door? If you can give me something valuable, I might tell you it. Something red and shiny, for example. Otherwise, you'll just have to work it out for yourself. I know the doll's secret name. It's Hits. H-I-T-S. H-I-T. H-I-T-S. Hits. So you worked out my name. Big deal. In you go. So, you found me. 
That's just grand. If you can find me, so can they. I should never have started studying the focus sites. But how was I to know Jack was interested in them too? Yes, Jack of Blades. Look, I have no time to explain. You can read my journal if you want. I don't want it anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. It's not safe for me here anymore, thanks to you. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Roth, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay, when it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins you prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Uh, Roth, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. For your entertainment, I give you Chicken Chaser. Famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twinblade. Like our other brave challengers, this up-and-coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round, an old arena favorite, it's to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs. Three, two, one. Light work of wasps, bandits, cobs, balberines, and even undead. What's next? 
what could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one, go! There's another thousand up for grabs in the next round. We have two winners. Incredible! So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack! Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go.
haven't got much fight left. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other, and yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl, and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion's seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh. And Mother has a gift for you, too. More power than you can imagine.
I told you. Touch me again, and I'll wring your neck. Wait. I know you. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. The bastard's playing with my head. But it... it really is you, isn't it? What the hell were you thinking coming here? Don't you see he'll take us both? Never mind. We've got to get out of here. Get this damn cage open. This child of yours is quite the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's being crowned Arena Champion? You would have been so proud of him. It must run in the family. That and getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak. Let him go. He doesn't know anything. Oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. You see, the arena seal I gave him has been showing me his every movement. It has been most entertaining. Digging up graves, saving old fools, meeting with that crazy sister of his. Teresa? Yes, it appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword. And that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. You just get yourself nice and comfortable there. We'll be back to get you and the other scum later. Then, <sighs> we'll have a bit of fun. He'll enjoy it, won't he, Tibbs? Go to hell, pig. Temper, Tibbs, temper. You should keep all that energy for later. You'll need it then. <laughs> oh, and don't try any of that funny Will stuff. It won't work in here. The boss made sure of that. Psst. Hey, you. In the cell, next year. I guess you're the one they've been hot pokering all this time. <laughs> I could hear you squealing all the way down here, mate. Nothing to be ashamed of. They know their pain. Wait a minute. I know who you are. You're that chicken chaser, ain't you? Beat the arena and let the big prize go to save pretty little Whisper, didn't you? Mm, you don't get your kind in here often. What'd you do? Kill a mayor? Slice up some pigs. Bet the warden can't believe his damn luck. It's his birthday today, you know. The vicious bastard. Every year, he has us dragged out of our cells, shows us a little sunshine so we know what we're missing, and sticks us back in. Doesn't do it out of the kindness of his heart, either. They race us round the courtyard and take bets on who'll win. Then the winner it's a trip to the warden's office and, well, what goes on in there is too cruel to mention. Still, at least you get a good look at his place, when there's more than books and furniture in there. Yeah. Look lively, scum. Time to move out. It's race time, and you'd better put on a good show. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. Win? And we like you. Lose, and you get around in the torture chamber. That sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. Right, you miserable sods. I want to see a dirty race. Plenty of pushing and shoving. You hear me? Now, get into positions. Three, two, one. Finger out, puss bag! Keep running, scum! Torture 
chamber. Bravo. We have a winner. Guards, escort him to my office. Welcome to my modest quarters. You have earned yourself a singular reward. One of my world-famous poetry readings. <laughs> yes, that's right. These stone walls cannot still the beating heart of a poet. I don't want to hear one sound from you. Pouring forth one's soul requires the utmost concentration. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. Welcome to your temporary home. The torture chamber. We're gonna have some fun with you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. And it consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. Another year of torture. The ancient, noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time, Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. The hero would not be beaten, he would be free. Uh, it's a special day today. You'll find out soon enough. Let's bung him in the holding cells with the others. She lives in the north side among rainbows. And I look at her from dead scummy slums. Her suitors are always the same one. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. It seems the warden has lost his key. We'll keep you in the holding cells until it turns up. Torture will be delayed. The lever. Use it to open these bars. Let's go. Let's go! Revenge burned like a sun within the hero, and his destiny was clear. Jack had cast a shadow over the whole of his life. He had been the architect of his sister's blind suffering and of his mother's imprisonment. And soon his power would be absolute. You didn't turn out too badly, after all. You did pretty well back there. But there's still so much to do. Jack is getting closer to the sword. I can feel it. He needs a key to unlock the sword from its hiding place. And now he knows where it is. The key is in Hook Coast, hidden in the ruins of an old abbey. You have to get to it first. We have one advantage. He doesn't know the key will only make itself known to one of our bloodlines. That's why we have to find your sister. As long as she's out there, Jack could use her. You should go to Darkwood and investigate the portal. There must be some way of activating it. It's the only way to get to Hook Coast. But first, I have a gift for you. There's power in your blood that hasn't been tapped yet.
Feels good, doesn't it? From now on, I will be able to talk to you through your guild seal. Now go. I will try to find Teresa. Mm. That magical barrier wasn't there before. It explains what I just found in the guild. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. The book! Don't forget the book! This is terrible. Jack has captured your mother again. I spoke to her briefly today. She told me about the sword and the existence of a key to unlock it. Jack can never be allowed to succeed. You must stop him getting the key from Hook Coast. There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. Good. Now quickly, give me the Thaumaturgica. When you approach the barrier to Hook Coast Abbey, I shall contact you on your guild seal. If I read from the correct passage, it should disable the barrier. Now go. Kalistoro nekusararm nenoxisusum Kalistoro nekasarum nenoxisium Eretore You're alive. Yes, I, I was worried when you disappeared. Your sister. I know. I had to tie her up. Jack is controlling her somehow. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to stop him. He's lying. He's the one working for Jack. No, she's trying to confuse you. She's... There is really no time for this, old wizard. Finish the ritual maze. I'd like my key now. It's almost over, and it will be easier with the boy here. So, you escaped my little cage. I'm surprised it took you so long. I trust you didn't lose too much of that precious blood of yours getting out. The Septimoki. You've hidden from me far too long. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. I shall be there soon. Surprised? You shouldn't be. Only an idiot would oppose Jack. You can't win, boy. The world belongs to Jack now. I was left behind to find you. And I was I was wrong. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Jack. <coughs> you haven't got much time. He's using the key to activate the focus sights all over Albion. Then the sword will be his, and it'll be too late. They'll be trying to stop him. None of them can. You want to know why I did it, don't you? I suppose I'm just an old coward boy. We don't all embrace death. Easily. For some of us, the quest... The only quest is to escape death. Whatever the cost. And it looks like I failed. You're back. Things are far worse than I'd fit. Maze's betrayal surprised us all. 
but we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Cullis Gate. You've received a new quest card. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. So Maze couldn't hold you. He wouldn't have seen the end of the day anyway. He had outlived his useful. You're too late here. This site is active. But don't worry. I haven't finished with you yet. Looks like he's done whatever he was doing, but the portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. I thought you weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come. Just two more to go now. Making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. Damn him. We're too late. He must be at Headsman's Hill. That's where everyone else was heading. You better go after him. I'm exhausted. I need to find somewhere to rest. I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! Jack's done it. He's activated them all. You must get to the Chamber of Fate in the guild. There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him. What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing you see. It's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn.
becomes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? They're both where they belong now. Lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace. And for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest. Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Scythe, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the Northern Wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. Many have died. I believe these creatures are known as summoners. My mission here has failed. I will attempt to stop their passage to the mainland. But I require assistance. The strongest among you must open the primal demon door close to this podium. It holds the fire heart. Only the chosen one will gain audience with the prophets. Use the heart to call the ship of the drowned. Hurry, before all is lost. Sai? Sai! Oh, we've lost him. Scorn! The Demon Door awoke this morning, but none of us could get through. It says we're not worthy. It is up to you, hero. You defeated Jack single-handedly. If it will not open for you... The man's got a point. I'll stick to my speciality and hit the books. We need to know what these summoners are. Good luck. You bear the mask of Jack of Blades. The prophets have foreseen the coming of such a legend among heroes. The rise of the summoners in the northern wastes. Marks the arrival of a new threat to all things living. We have long dreaded this portent. Behind my walls lies the fire heart. There, you will speak to the prophets who watch over it. You may enter now, but beware the beating of the heart. It has burned many before you. are the prophets of the Fireheart. It was your destiny to seek us out, hero. The beast arises in the frozen north. Only he who claims the heart can stop it. Its mystical powers will guide you across the sea. There you must face a force of such evil. Not even death can silence its fury. Oh, for crying out loud, just tell him to get us out of here. Yes, yes, we were coming to that. To obtain the Fireheart, you must solve the mystery of day and night. And we'll finally be free! Witness the board before you. Each time you turn all the moons into suns, you'll release one of us from our perpetual prison. But fill the board with moons and one of us will perish, and the Fireheart will never be yours. What? 
I thought you said he'd get it even if he gets us all killed. I heard you. To quiet you, imbecile! Look, it's very simple. Solve the damn puzzle, you get the heart, we get out of this hole. Everyone's happy, all right? Not moon signs! Sun signs only, I implore you. Beware, hero. One of the... Spare my brothers! Ah! The fire heart? Excellent. I knew you'd be able to do it. I bet those profits were a barrel of laughs too. You always get to do the fun stuff. Well, I've been looking into these summoner creatures and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. These things are bad. Too late to do anything now though. Hmm, perhaps not. Well, it's only an old legend but for centuries, there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild and imbued with the essence of all the heroes buried there. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He was obsessed with finding it. We know why now, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. But don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Its power will summon the ship to take you to the northern wastes. Good luck once more, hero. Is the Fireheart in place? Good. Meet me downstairs. According to the books, the ship should arrive as soon as the Heart's energy reaches full power. What the hell? A summoner. It's trying to destroy the heart. We have to... We have to protect it. Come on, we have to stop it before it destroys the fire heart. Let's get them. As long as it's fighting us, it won't attack the heart. When you get to the Northern Wastes, your Guild Seal will activate the local teleporters, and I'll be able to join you. Scythe would have done it long ago, but he destroyed his seal before he arrived. Didn't want Maze to know what he was up to, I guess. Well, have a nice trip. Maybe when I see you next, we can have a snowball fight. The strange, silent ship set sail into the featureless swell. Day after day, it carved its path among the waves, an ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came when icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist. These were the shores of the Lost Bay. The northern wastes lay beyond them. Guildsman, I had feared you lost. I am Scythe, though my name has long been forgotten in the guild. Maze saw to that. 
My apologies for not meeting you in person. I must remain in Snowspire Village and protect it from summoners. Terrible though they are, they are but a symptom of a much greater power rising in these lands. Meet me in Snowspire in the far north. I will explain everything, and then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. I pray we can awaken it, and that it holds the answers we seek. There you are! So how was the cruise? Me? I'm more of a teleporter girl. Good thing your seal set the local ones off. I've managed to get a good look around and this pile of stones might be worth investigating. See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back to the guild to work on the translations. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for you. Catch you later! Welcome to Snowspire, hero. Walk with me. Speak of your journey. Summoners have reached Hook Coast. Then there is less time than I thought, and I have much to tell you. I arrived here many years ago, when the Guild believed Jack of Blades would use the Snowspire Oracle in his search for the sword. Now it is we who are in need of its wisdom. To speak with it, we will need the glyphs of inquiry. They were hidden in the age of Archon by four acolytes who buried them deep in the haunted necropolis. I will send word to the necropolis guards to grant you passage. You have uncovered the glyphs. Very good. It is time we awoke the Oracle from its deathly slumber. Oh, great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? The prophecy is The Guildsman is here. Follow the footsteps of the Prophet, or the mask you carry. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the Summoner. Glad you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild and they say he's in Knothole Glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? 
Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? But its work is done. Soon I will have power beyond your imagining, and you will be the first to die. Now look, I won't tell you again. We don't need a hero. For the first time in years, we aren't being attacked, sieged, or kidnapped by anything. Now leave us alone! You? <laughs> Briar Rose said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. We were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say the souls of past champions haunted, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Now go, unless you're here to take my soul. appeared in the cells and started killing everyone. Afraid to fight another hero, were you? Very well. I have prepared some entertainment for you inside. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a truly special occasion. Watch a hero ripped to pieces by trolls and Jack's very own minions. Jack's lovely minions are back. And they brought some puppies for our hero to play with. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Sunny Snow Spa, I give you summoners. This thing works. You need to release the soul from the mask, and well, your guess is as good as mine. <gasps> I've never seen anything like it. It's like it's using the soul to power itself. Anyway, we figured out the second inscription. It says, The Heroine. I can't think of anyone who fits the description better than Scarlet Robe, your mother. There's always me, of course, but as you can see, I'm still alive. And I plan to stay that way. You'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? Scarlet. Poor Scarlet. Hasn't she suffered enough? Would you really do that to your own mother? Take Briar. She is of no use to anyone. Have a good day. I know what you seek, son, but Jack has sent a legion of screamers to torment my soul. They won't allow me to leave, and now they will try to take you, too. Jack's spirit 
Light is strong, and his new form is almost ready. But I sense how he fears you. Take my soul, and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now, there's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. Oh, come on. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine wants, hero. Jack! So it really is true. He's alive, and still up to his old mind games. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with them. Oh, welcome back, sir. This place has been a mess since you left. People running around with bits of old paper, books flying everywhere. And a Guild Master's only gone and hold himself up in the Guild Woods. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it! The soul mentioned in the inscription! It must be Nostro! His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries! Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison! Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero! Guildsmen, we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostro. Mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor. say only one hero will be allowed to pass through the gate and hey guess what you're the strongest i don't know what form jack's going to take but i don't think it's going to be small and furry do you good luck for all our sakes Nothing to me! All these heat, all these flames. 
mask. Whatever you do, you must not wear it. Wear me. Wear me. The gods end me your power. It was a battle that would be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oak Vale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. The day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time.